One of my favorite techniques is using ghost strokes. Now a ghost stroke is basically a very quiet tapping of the snare drum, like this. And believe it or not, this tiny tap can work wonders on all kinds of beats and fills. Let's start with a basic rock beat. But instead of using both hands to play the hi-hat and snare, do it all with one hand. If, uh, if you're a right-handed drummer who plays in the conventional manner, do this all with your right hand or your writing hand. I'm a left-handed person. I play backwards. I'm crazy. Don't let me confuse you. Use your writing hand, like this. Now, what that does is free up the snare hand, okay? If you're right-handed, it means your left hand. And now we're going to fill in the holes, all the 16th notes, really quietly, using ghost strokes, with that hand. And that sounds like this, just the hands, very slowly. 3 E and a 4 E and a 1. Now let's add the bass drum. Two, three, four. Now once you get this down, uh, then you ought to try some different eighth note patterns on the bass drum, and then expand to some uh, heavy sixteenth note patterns. Now, another beat that works really nicely using the ghost strokes is what I call a rock march. It's also a right, left, right, left, hand-to-hand -hand pattern of single strokes, just like what we did. And uh, it's just counted as triplets, like this. Three and a four and a one. Now I'll add a bass drum pattern. One, two, three, four. With this particular beat, since it has such a, a march quality to it, I sometimes like to mix up the ghost stroke with double ghost strokes, which is a double tap, which in rudimental terms is called a drag. Uh, very slowly, that sounds like this. Three and a four and a one. Three, four. One, three, four. And now with the bass drum. Two, three, four. Okay, another beat that the ghost strokes work great with is a shuffle. Here's a shuffle without ghost strokes. To put the ghost stroke in, keep your hi-hat hand on the hi-hat, and you fit the ghost stroke in between uh, the first triplet and the third triplet, like this. Three and a four and a one. Now I'll add a bass drum pattern. Two, three, four. And while we're on the subject of shuffles, how about a halftime shuffle? Here it is without ghost strokes. To add the ghost stroke, put it in between the first second and fourth triplet, like this. Three and a four and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And here comes the bass drum. Two, three, four. Now, going back to the original rock beat that I was playing, uh, 
you can start to get a little creative by not just hitting the 2-4 backbeat with uh, your right hand. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Two, three, four. You can then also think about maybe fooling around putting some accents in on your ghosting hand. And uh, this can really help you come up with some pretty neat funk stuff right off the bat. Here's one example. Three E and a four E and a. Now I'll put the beat in. Two, three, four. And now, just to give you an example of how the ghost strokes can lead you into all kinds of neat stuff, listen to this fairly simple beat in 4-4. Four, four. Now I'm going to do a bunch of things. I'm going to start with my ghost strokes, singles and double ghost strokes, and I'm going to use some of the other things that I have available to me in the drum set. Maybe open the hi-hat, an occasional accent with the ghosting hand, maybe use a couple of tom-toms and the offbeat cymbal pattern. And the beat I'm about to play is all based on the simple one that I just played for you. Two, three, four. So all you have to do is use your imagination, working with the things that you have around you, beginning with the ghost strokes. Now, in terms of doing drum fills, uh, quite often when I'm playing, I, I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing, but I'm playing all sorts of random single and double stroke combinations. And along with that, I'm accenting a lot with my main hand. Occasionally, uh, my other hand, which is ghosting most of the time, will stick in some accents. And uh, let me just play a little bit of that for you. 